In this quick Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these cool blurred text effects with color in just a few simple steps. Step one, let's grab our type tool and click on our document and type out whatever we want. I can move my text around, reposition, center it, and also in the text tool, I can highlight the text and adjust anything about the font, size, and open up the character panel and adjust other things about it, such as the spacing and tracking. So this is all up to you. I'm just gonna use a bold font like Arial Black. Next, we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and create a gradient map layer. So I'll press OK, and you might notice your background and everything change colors. You can click Reverse if it does that, just to keep your background so it looks like the original, or if you double click on your gradient editor and switch the stop color stops around so it's going from black to white or dark to light and now what we're going to do is add a few points on this gradient so for the middle one let's add another white stop and then we're just going to add a couple colors that we want in between this white to black gradient so i can add you know reds blues greens whatever i want this is where you can really experiment and get creative and also you can come back to this step afterwards and play around and see what you come up with. So here's just a simple white, red, blue, and green gradient. And I'll press OK, and you really shouldn't see anything happen yet because we are still going from essentially black to white, and there's no edges in between. Now here's where the fun part comes in. Let's highlight our text layer and go to Filter, Blur, and although you could use any one of these blurs really, uh, the fun ones are actually in Blur Gallery, and here I can just click one like field blur. It'll open up the whole blur gallery, but first it'll ask you to convert it to a smart object. So convert it to a smart object. And with just a little bit of blur, you should instantly see your gradient start to appear. And you see here, what we've done is we have the white, the green, red, and then blue, you know, back to black. So the cool part about the blur gallery is you have all of these different options. So field blur is just like a general blur. Iris blur is pretty cool because you can blur it more outside of this circle or iris or or less. So you can sort of just blur the edges and that can create this cool little effect. If you notice inside of the actual blur menu, you have these little points and sliders. So you can create a more sharp or feathered out edge. You can adjust the shape of this. You can even make it more circular or rectangular like so. And you can check and uncheck the different blurs. So this is just with the iris blur. So we see only the edges get blurred. And then, but I think it's nice to add a little bit of field blur as well, just so the entire text gets blurry. And you can play around with this in cool ways. So you can move this around, see what it might look like just on one half or the other, maybe just the bottom or top half. Um, but here's just a standard idea. And you have many different blurs here, spin blur, path blur. Uh, I have a tutorial all about all of the blur galleries if you really want more in depth, but you get the main idea. And once you're all set, you can press okay. And here's your essential design. And if you ever wanna go back into the blur gallery, since it's a smart object, you can always double click on the blur gallery and adjust things again. But the only thing you can't do since we converted it to a smart object is change the letters and the font. So you want to make sure you get that all set before you convert it to a smart object. And then you have the gradient map. So you can play around with basically whatever sort of gradients you want. But those are the main building blocks for this cool color blur text effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel. So make sure you subscribe, head to my channel and follow along. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.